Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News, wherever treehugger.com. They have an article coming out of Tokyo, a 70-story timber tower made by the Sumitomo Forestry, which I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, but they want to build it for their 350th anniversary. They want to make it 350 meters tall, 1148 feet. Now, there's, of course, several problems with building skyscrapers out of wood, but there's also many benefits. Wood is a much more renewable resource. It's much lighter to work with, so you require less heavy equipment, or really it can be done a little bit quicker. It might be a little bit easier to manufacture in a factory, for instance, and uh, ship to a site because it doesn't require as heavy tractor trailers to ship it. Um, but, of course, it's a lot less fire resistant than steel and concrete. Um, it, one of the reasons that they want to build this tower is because they feel that Japan is overforested. So they say about two-thirds of Japan is covered in forests. I'm sure it was uh, much more than that back in the day as the Imperial Japanese Empire started. But um, as it stands, they replanted a lot of their forests after World War II, and a lot of those forests are now being overcrowded. And those trees are just going to tip over and rot away or they'll start forest fires. In America, we have a similar situation where we overplanted in the continental U.S. specifically and uh, after World War II, and now our forests are overcrowded. For those of you who are concerned with uh, carbon being released in our atmosphere, you don't want the trees to rot away. That will reduce, release carbon. And if you have a lot of dead trees on the ground, that increases the amount of fuel available for the trees. And we really don't allow dead wood harvesting in American forests, and I imagine they don't do it in Japanese forests either, which will lead to forest fires, which of course will release a lot more carbon. So there are a lot of benefits to creating structures out of wood. Not just uh, the cost savings and renewability, but you know less carbon and whatnot. Now, they do want to have a lot of balconies, a lot of terraces out here, and the plants that are growing there are going to be green and lush and help prevent fires, and they are researching ways to have a building withstand fire for up to three hours, and that will help a lot. Of course, wood will need to be replaced eventually. It might not be as long-lived as concrete and steel, but even with concrete and steel, you have to do a lot of work to prevent a corrosion of the steel, you know, rusting away. Um, you also have to make sure the concrete is sealed because water will get in there and then you've got freeze-thaw cycles and there's still a lot of maintenance with that. So they feel like they can take the wood products that they take off the building and turn it into like chipboard or uh, biomass digesters and creating electricity with it and whatnot. So there are a uh, lot of problems but they're coming up with some solutions to this and if they really build a 70-story wooden tower, well I think that would be an interesting architectural feat. 4 million square feet of real estate. And if you think about it, they build two, three-story homes out of wood all the time. Now, they will be building about 9 to 1 ratio, 9 times wood to 1 ratio of steel. And they're going to usually do that for these cross members here, these cross beams. And uh, that's really for rigidity for high winds. You get that in Japan. It is an island after all. And earthquakes. They got a lot of those in Japan, that's for sure. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave it in the comments below. There's certainly an interesting idea with many potential pitfalls. But if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.